Hello YouTube. Today we will be going in depth about my two speed cars, my Traxxas Street Sport, the one on the left, and my Dramata SC 4.18 on the right. But we will be especially going in depth about the Traxxas Street Sport because it now holds the record. It's like unofficial, but it's official, that kind of stuff. So, the body I am running is a Proline Protoform Z28, 71 Z28 body. And I had to cut a little bit of off because I found that, especially the back, the back cracked really bad. And I even had this thing Gorilla Tape to try and stiffen it up, but it still cracked really bad. But with actually having to cut the front, part of the front and the back out, it actually helped cool down the motor a lot, especially with those holes being open in the front. And I painted it black. It was supposed to be black and white, but the which we call the tape that I had used it was actually meant for it but the white that I was going to use to make two white racing stripes bled through and you can see in these spots where the black and stuff went through yeah it's not too bad but it's a basher body I'm going to get a stock body or just a 69 Camaro body all right so, for the battery I'm using, I use a Florin 4500 math 3S LiPo, or sometimes I'll use a, it's either a 3000 or a 3500 math. But, you know, the 4500 math is just a longer run time. And usually, I'm not using a strap, because whenever I use a 3000, I actually have a tie bar that grows here from an old steering turnbuckle. And for the ESC I'm using, it's a 120 amp. Thai Sky, enjoy yourself. It's freaking eBay special. It was only $28 for two of them, and you can't beat it because the 60 amp ESCs that I was buying that uh, Dream Surpass Hobby, Ghoul RC, um, their Octay, I smoked right through those with, within a couple of runs. And I wasn't keep spending that money, you know, on crappy ESCs. I mean, this is a crappy ESC, but it's been working really well. And for the motor, I still have a Dream of Surpass Hobby in there. This is a smaller motor. Whenever that car gets the fastest in the world, I'll switch motors. Um, I use a 31 tooth pinion, Traxxas pinion with this motor. It runs a little warm, but with the cold air, well, that, just the air period coming in from the body, it keeps it chilled down a little bit after about 15 minutes of run. I have to let it cool down or it just starts glitching out. And for the diff, it's actually locked because I had stripped part of it whenever I was trying to tighten the diff down. That way, there would be barely like any slippage. And I had stripped that out, so I actually Gorilla glued it together. And the Gorilla Glue is holding up really, really well. So it is. And um, for tires, I'm running contact tires. They're cheap. They grip and they haven't blown apart yet, unlike the tires on that one. And for a servo I'm using, I'm using just a 20 kilogram servo, digital. I think it's a Lobot used for like RC robots, something like that. It was like $23 and it's a really good servo. It's not fast, but it has good enough torque, all the torque I need. And... I'm running stock Traxxas Stampede, um, what do they call it, rear bearing carriers, of like the new updated Stampede, not like the old ones. I actually had to trim the arms to fit them. And up front, I am running the um, stock Stampede um, knuckles. And I've upgraded this thing to bearings all the way throughout because I was not dealing with them bushings. Even in the trans cage, I upgraded the bearings instead of bushings. And for... Uh, Receiver and transmitter, I'm just using a Glue RC. It's a three channel. It works good enough, gets great range. I've went this thing with over, I think, like, I've went over 200 feet away. And that's all I really need to run this. So, I mean, it hasn't cut out yet. And I don't even have the antenna sticking to the top. I just have it bent down like that in the car. And it's a pretty good receiver. Or, yeah, both the receiver and transmitter are pretty good. But what I like about the transmitter is 
you can put your steering normal or reverse reverse is so forward will be like this normal but if it's reverse forward will be like that and you steering's the same way so it is and you can adjust you have trims you can adjust your steering trim your throttle trim your steering rate and up here you can actually adjust your throttle limit low high like Sometimes I let my brother drive this. He's not the best. He's only a year younger, but he definitely does not know as much, and he's definitely not a good driver. So I just put the throttle to low. And I think that's pretty much all for this car. I mean, it's been, like my video a couple days ago, it crashed into a freaking car's tire at 70 mile an hour. Close to 70, not quite, but I think I need a longer runway to get to 70. I know. The car will do 70. It's definitely in it, especially with its gear ratio. It has a 31 tooth pinion and a um, 100 tooth spur. And the bad thing about this is I can't make the spur smaller because this car is, you know, I think it's over the just over the 20 year old mark. And uh, you can't, I don't even think you can really buy spur gears for them anymore. Maybe on eBay or something, but that's about it. And I, still, again, they're still 100 tooth. You can't really downgrade your spur gear i mean upgrades i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna change shocks especially the back ones they really suck and i'm gonna try and do adjustable camber links and stuff but i mean it doesn't really matter like i said change the body because that one's getting away it's gonna be a beater body and well i mean that's pretty much all there is to say about this car i mean for being 20 something years old it's gotten into 70 mile an hour crashes oh by the way earlier that day whenever i didn't have my phone on it I guarantee that car did 70 and it crashed at 70 it almost went onto the main road it was only like three feet away it crashed into the bushes that sucked but anyway to this car all right this is my Dromeda SC 4.18 with wait for the surprise boom 10th scale motor in there it's Castle Creations Sidewinder 3 it's not the newest Sidewinder but like the last generation and it has an uh hobby link quick one esc it is all aluminum drivetrain except for the diffs and stuff like that they only can get them in plastic like if you can get a metal somebody put it down in the comments i was sharing the rear ring and pinion gear a lot but it's because i had the diffs in backwards i literally went through about 10 of them before i figured that out and after i did that no more of that and I locked the front and rear diff, so I did. And the car seems to handle better, so it does. And the tires haven't been blowing off the rims as bad. And for this car, I mean, I'm gonna try and make it the fastest in the world too, but if it doesn't, I'm just gonna put off-road tires on it. And what I did was I put limiters in the shocks, that way they couldn't go down as far. That way it would be closer to the ground. But if it doesn't get the fastest in the world, I'll just put big tires on it and use it as an off-road car and make a gear cover for that because this thing is freaking insane off road with big tires it'll be awesome and i have a 3s tenergy lipo it's 2200 math i really really like it it's good quality i think it was like 22 dollars if i'm correct and that was an on sale that was just regular price and for the aluminum dog bones and stuff, I've never broke one of them. I have broke front stub axles, but I think it was only on this side. And that's because I was missing a spring. It wasn't drawn with a swallow, I was missing a spring. And I always kept breaking one of these stub axles. And um, other upgrades, I have a 29 tooth pinion, most expensive pinion I have ever bought. It was $12. It's a .6 mod, it's from a red cat i don't even know which one it's from but it's from a red cat it's twelve dollars probably way more than what it was worth but it was the only one i could find at that time and i really wanted to get this car to run and i'm running just like a junk cheap heat fan on it works really good you know it blows the air and i'm running a tactic servo it was a 15 dollar servo and i've had it in this car for about a year now i before i did this before i was doing the speed running i put the thing off road it had a 118 scale brushless system that got pretty boring it only topped out at like 35 with that and i can't wait to see what it tops out i'm hoping if i get it whenever i get a longer runway to do this it'll do mid 70s 80s hopefully like i know a guy that i watch on youtube his did 81 it had contact foam fire foam tires that are like on that 
and it had a 35 tooth pinion, but it was mostly aluminum, so that weighed it down a lot. So I think even with this 31, I might just get a 35 if I can find it, but I think I can beat him. And he had an MT 4.18. So I think I can beat him. Even if I don't beat him with that, I guarantee this will be the fastest of its kind in the world. I don't really see anyone doing runs with the SC 4.18, just the MTs, stuff like that. And it has the brushless receiver that you can get from Dromeda. Whenever we upgrade it, I bought that. It has great range too. The only problem is, is I don't want to cut a hole in the top of the body to run this because I know it'll get all cut up and frayed and I'll have to buy another one. It is you can not, it doesn't really go that far. It definitely doesn't go as far as that. Like I have it sticking out the back and once you go to turn it, if you're so far away, it cuts out and then you got to walk up to it. And you know what I mean? It's kind of sucks, but eh, it's okay. And what else? What else? I have a, I know people do the Will Toys mount on them, but I actually have the mount from a Red Cat Ground Pounder. I have one of them. I just need to buy some parts and stuff and put it back together. It'll be, I'll build a trailer for these two cars for whenever I go speed running or like races or something and put a trailer on that thing and haul these around. And what else? I put, I did a dual spring setup in the back with the upgraded springs that you can get. And it's pretty good. I left the single original springs in the front because I just like, like that. I think I'm running 40, 45 weight shock oil in these. Um, what else? Oh yeah, if you're gonna put the 3S battery in there like that, you have to cut out the chassis. For like, cause the original battery mounts won't work, so you have to cut out the chassis, that way you can put this strap through. And, I guess now onto the radio. Stock radio, what it has is it has the steering trim, throttle trim. Now you can go up here, you can set your steering to like if you don't want it to go as far you can just set that and then throttle you can turn your throttle down you can reverse your throttle reverse your steering everything like that on the other radio but this radio was pretty cheap it was twenty six dollars for the radio receiver and i've had it for i think over a year now and it has not let me down yet so it hasn't and uh... actually i bought that one because stock traxxas I will not stock for that car, but like a stock one for like a stampede. It did not go as far as that receiver did. And it was brand new. It still didn't go as far. I, don't, I think that will go farther than a Traxxas one. I think this one might actually, I think the receiver and transmitter on this might actually go farther than a Traxxas one too. I mean, I'm not trying to hate on Traxxas or anything. They make some great vehicles, but there's just some stuff that they need to improve on. Like, if they made cars like this still, I guarantee at the same around the same price point, oh my gosh, Traxxas would be the best out there, hands down. Like I said, this car survived 70 mile per hour crashes, end over end, not broken a single part yet. And I've I've actually trimmed down some parts that I thought they would snap in crashes like that, but they didn't. They're still strong. It's, it's like the plastic they made these out of was different. This stuff is really really flexible, like. I can bend this tire back if I want to. I can bend that tire to go back to right there because this arm will just bend. Everything will bend. It doesn't break. It just bends. And that's what I like. Just like this car. These parts, they're really cheap, but they're flip. They're, I want to say they're, they're strong, but they're easy to bend and stuff. The only parts I really broke on this were in the winter time, hardcore bashing, doing flips and stuff like that with this 10 scale system. And I think. Like I said, that's the only time I've ever broken anything besides this rear ring of pinion gears on this, but that's, that was my problem. But now, let's go to the tires. If you're running, if you're running this on the street, but you're not doing speed runs, these tires are fine. I think they're like K Racing, something like that. They're $15 for four of them. But if you're going 50 mile per hour plus, the tires just blow right off the rims. I've had to glue them a couple times so i'm just gonna get contacts because they get better traction and they don't blow off the rims like one of my rear ring pinion blew both my front tires ballooned and the tires came right off the rim and it kind of sucks because well i've bought two sets of these you know thinking well maybe the other set would be better but well, they're not and i think with these two cars that's pretty much how that's pretty much all the upgrades and stuff, modifications I've done. They're not heavily modified, 
but they're just mo they're not heavily modified, but they're modified to go fast. So they are. And um, put down in the comments, what do you prefer, the tracks of street sport? I mean, it's harder to get parts and for stuff, but it doesn't break as often as this does. I mean, this doesn't break really too bad either. It has a 10 scale motor in ESC, and like I said, it should do like 70 or something. Um, put down in the comments, like I said, which one you like. Um, put down in the comments if I should do a video about my ground pounder. And like other videos I do, I love to fish. I love to trail, but I love to trail ride horses and stuff. Um, what else? I could do videos maybe about shooting, stuff like that. I don't really hunt, so, I mean, those are the, all the videos, those are all the videos I could do. I mean, I have a GoPro and everything, I just haven't really used it yet, so if I get more subscribers, I will do stuff like that, and yeah, do fit tutorial stuff like that, maybe how, to, maybe how to tie fly, something like that. I really like to fly fish, bass fish, carp fish, catfish, and I will probably won't really do any pan fishing videos, but. I will come in the near future. I know I just got a pond dog today, so maybe I'll do some ice fishing videos in the winter time. So I will. And um, that's all for me today. Have a great day, guys. And this is me signing out.